He was around here last night before the dance. Is he violent? Yes, sir, I would say so, yes. There's a son of a bitch now. Hey, you! Go, Phelps. I'll take the car and see if I can cut him off. <laughs> oh, what if we grab the bike? Come on, I'm tapping it. I'm tapping it. Are you kidding? He runs faster when he try to tackle. What the hell? Jesus. When I tap to chase after him, he just runs faster. Who's asking? It's like it doesn't we work. Do this the easy way or the hard way? Name's Eli Rooney. You've been in trouble with the law before, Eli? Some. What are you doing around here? I like to keep an eye on the children. Strictly paternal, is it, Eli? Don't sass me, boy. A woman was abducted here last night, Eli, and murdered. And I would love to make you for that, you oaky motherfucker. Well, I wouldn't know nothing about that. A woman, you say? I like him a little younger than that. Turn out your pockets, Eli. Now, why would I do that? Because I'm about to break your fucking skull, Eli. Keep the lid Under on. arrest, Eli. You are in very deep trouble. Why bother with the paperwork, Eli? I'm going to take out my gun, and I'm going to count to five. Let's see how fast you can run now. Hang on a goddamn minute. I found that thing in the parking lot. Get some backup out here, Rusty. We need to get this one downtown and into a cell. I'll tell them we got a kitty raper coming in. They can roll out the red carpet. Complete a brawl without losing your hat as an LAPD detective. <laughs> That's why I'd of that anything in the oh okay there's the rope blood and skin samples we better get ray pinker out here it's from a chrysler could be important the overalls are stenciled hm muller is a mechanic I wonder what eli does for a living All right, get to call central. Go, 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 go. Can we just take any car we want? KDI features the best live programming and transcribed shows. KDI 760. Friends, what is this? All right, central. Got some info for you. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. One, two, four, How seven. Can I help, detective? I need How interrogation help, set up detective? at Central for both suspects being held in the Mahler homicide case. Certainly, detective. I'll get in touch with the watch commander. Thanks. You know the way. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? Central Station. I say we make Rooney for this. 
I think we should lay it on him. He was near the car, he had her jewelry, the DA will love him for it. Even if he didn't do it? Who cares whether he did it? You have kids, Phelps? He needs to be taken permanently out of harm's way. And we let Mueller slide? For a while. He gets a free pass for now. Seven oh one. Charge a suspect with soft on me here, mm. We'll work the evidence, Rusty. Let him do the rest. <clears throat> I need a drink. I got the jitters again. The main reason Santa's so jolly is because he knows where all the bad guys. I gave his wife a tap. I said all's fair and nothing more. Where's Chloe? Here's where we stand, yeah. Hugo. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood-stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row, and all you have to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that lie test. I can prove it. I suppose all Why that did you burn your evidence. shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. Uh, ask the community. Doubt. Are you gonna tell me what Wait, I wanna what? know? He said or do truth. we have to take oh, it? Sh Motherfucker. <sighs> restart. What is that restart? It restarts the entire case? Hell no. Out of you in lumps. Uh, Give it your best shot. I can take whatever you're throwing. God damn it. Do you know anything about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the army. You learned to strangle with the rope in the army? With rope, with uh, my bare hands, but mainly with wire. I learned a lot of things in the army, but I... I still didn't kill my wife. For argument's sake, what type of rope would you use? If I had to, I would use a triple braid. Less flex, easier to control. Your wife was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. Tire iron, uh, da, 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 where is it? Bloody tire iron. Intuition. 23, lie. Okay. You're lying, Hugo. You're gonna have to come clean on this. You got no proof. Your wife drove a Chevrolet, Hugo. What make of car do you drive? A uh, Chrysler Airflow. So I guess that explains why the tire iron that killed your wife came from a Chrysler. We found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. Enough lies, Hugo. Your overalls put you at the scene of the crime last night. My overalls are in the laundry of my house. Green overalls, bloodstained, with the initials HM found in the trunk of your wife's car. They can't be mine. Why, Hugo? Because if they were yours, they'd be in the incinerator too? Leave interrogation. Door knocking all morning. I 
gotta make in the car in the end. Uh, where's the other guy? Interrogation room one is down here. Boy, Captain. Uh, we were on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Yes, folks, I know. This particular fiend is an old acquaintance. I have tried to reaffirm his belief in a wrathful and terrible God. Whichever way it goes, I'll be dealing personally with him. You look like you've had it rough. You see me asking for your sympathy, Let's boy? Let's see. One second. What is that thing? There's a thing like uh glitching or something. I've done fourteen years in and out of prison, son. You think you can outweigh me? You're wrong. You're down on your luck, Eli. I had worse. My family ate roadkill during the Dust Bowl. But you have a job. A parolee has to have a job, correct? I had me a job down in San Pedro. I'm looking for something new. Isn't there anything else you can do? This place you worked have a name? Hennessy Marine. You can't miss place. Big yellow letters, HM out front. They give you any workwear, Eli? Sure. Green coverall. Dang thing was hot. Felt like I was back in the pen wearing it. You ever tie up any of Access your Access to braided Eli? rope. It's not a nice thing to go calling them. What would you call them? I can't say. I learned a long time ago not to go talk about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you. See what I mean? Short answer is yes. You have any preference regarding rope, Eli? I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. That's not what you mean, is it? Any old rope will do me fine. One boy like you, Eli, must prefer McGay for roping, am I right? I prefer braid tie hitching braid stays tight. You killed Mrs. Muller and stole her jewelry. That ain't so. Ain't done nothing like that. You have no job and nowhere to live by the smell of things. And you need money. Let's see. You've been in trouble before, Eli. Who do you think a jury will believe? I've been in trouble for other things, but I ain't never killed no one. I saw that car coming to the parking lot late last night. Man got changed there and put his coveralls in the trunk. I saw him drop the butterfly in the lamplight and he strolled out, cool as you like. And I went over and I picked it up. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know. I think he's the the guy though. So he matches it more than the other guy.
One sec. Charge him. Eli Rooney, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Deirdre Muller. You want to put me back in the stir that badly, boy? You go ahead and try. I'll beat that rat. I ain't a killer. Galloway, congratulations are at hand. Drink, boys? I think you'll receive a commendation for this one, gentlemen. In the meantime, I'll speak to the DA about expediting the passage of the case. We need swift and merciless justice for poor Deirdre. Case closed for Eli Rooney ex can expect a warm welcome from Captain Donnelly and the district attorney. Boom. I don't know, I'm going back and forth on deciding whether or not to use a guide. Belt! We captured two regular army. Lieutenant! Belt, we've been over this. That sniper barely missed you back on the beach. And tell the mission is over, there'll be no more saluting or signs of rain. I'm in charge here, Medier! Do you wish to interrogate the prisoners? I know they're beat. Why they look so sullen? You're wondering why we haven't killed them yet. There is no greater shame than being taken prisoner. Get this, Golden Boy. I just seem to know what he's doing. Not to got the no kai so to. Now my all. None of the good. Hey, you and you, you and I, but I should look hater. Kissima, nani samadato? Umutarunda. See that boys? He slapped that jap right upside the head. It was merely to remind him of his place. His shame was the tone of voice that he used with a superior. I respect the Japanese, Corporal. Respect, we're here to kill the sons of bitches. Do you know why we are fighting the Japanese, Private? With respect, sir, these bastards attacked Pearl Harbor. And why did they attack Pearl, Private? Because they hate the U.S. of A. and our way of life. They attacked the U.S. because we cut off their oil. What would we do if another country denied us the gas to run our cars? Oof. So, stalking murder. Ah, oh, Phelps. I was just discussing with Finbar here how well you were doing. Have a seat. Yeah, my real name. And you can just forget all about it. You boys have a new case. A poor Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. Another naked woman, sir? Yes. We seem to have had quite a run of them since the Dahlia fiend first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that he thinks the Mendes case is hokey. Well, young Phelps, you win some and you lose some in police work. You're happy with the Muller case, sir? Over the moon, boys! Whoa. The DA couldn't be more pleased with the evidence the witness <coughs> get out there and touch me on the side. All right. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. <laughs> you have the address? It's the alley off of Lisa between Los Angeles and Alameda. You're kidding. The next one will be opposite Central Station. Well, count yourself lucky, though. Most guys would kill to land a case so close to their desk. Yeah. It means they can pop in to hit the office supply of hooch whenever they need it. You know, that ain't a bad idea. That is not a bad idea at all, though. <laughs> All right. 
see how this one goes. Crime scene, 1 p.m. Detectives, they're ready to start the show. I'll take you through. Start the show? Oh, for Christ's sake. Brothers, Pinker. Cause of death is pretty apparent. We thought we'd best wait for you when you're ready. Oh, another finger. Another wedding ring. Jeez, you can see a bone too. No skin under the fingernails. Lacerations on the neck would indicate a great deal of force. Only 21 years old. But why the library card? Did he want us to find it? Kiss the blood, BD. I think that's everything. The evidence in the Mueller case was solid. I'm not convinced about Mendez. The best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copycat. Strangled, battered. Yeah, dead. yeah, yeah. We know the M.O. So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. I've spoken to Brown. He still believes the Dahlia perp has medical experience. Four women, all murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Mueller had no message. Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. Anything for us to go on, Mal? Head injuries from contact with road, bruising from a small man's shoe, further blunt force trauma to the occipital region at the base of the skull. Could have been fatal, but clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Lipstick appears to be a similar color to the other cases. I'll see if I can nail down a brand. She took a blow to the head like the others. She was probably unconscious when strangled. Nothing. Trying to inspect it. There it is. Oh, it goes over there. As well, follow the trail. Another day, another dollar. Antonia. Huh. Same as the library card. Blood leads all the way back here. Proximity to the scene, plus the blood stains. No way is this coincidence. And it keeps on going. We kept the area pristine for you boys. Let's check it out. Key. House keys strung up like bait on a hook. You think he's trying to lead us somewhere? Probably all the way to City Hall then. I think they want me to look at each thing of blood.
and then it keeps going right here Cipher. And it's still going, jeez. Is all of this meant to be taking us? He clearly wants us to find these things. He's left them for us. There you go, Phelp. You got a new ammo. Told you. Yeah. Or he might just be getting more confident. Enameled and gold plated. This was precious to her. Still going, oh my god. The trail points up. Did he just keep putting all the blood into that? Oh, the other part of the library card. Son of a bitch, once her identified. Mrs. Antonia Maldonado, 712 North Hill Street, downtown. Wait, we didn't get all the clues, though. me when I'm working, you're gonna get lousy shots. All right? I need to get back to it, Phelps. Nothing. Say something at least. According to this, we're still technically in an area that we can search. anything it's the ammo or ammo wait there was no ammo used <laughs> but why is there a random thing of ammo just laying there
It keeps showing up as if this is this means something else. Nothing. Follow the trail again. Uh. On it goes. You have to inspe inspect all of these. Got that already. <laughs> Got that. Where are you taking us? Maybe you have to inspect the entire blood trail. Check up here to see if there's anything. I don't think any of these are relevant. Aye, aye. Saw this one. What are we missing? Ah, there it is. The ring. Pulled from the finger and hung up here. What's the significance? There it is. <laughs> That's the only thing we're missing. Oh. We have to find a way to get all the way down there now. Great. We do. And you have to go back. All right, Phelps. Wow. I did not see that thing hanging there, so I just completely skimmed past it. Well, at least we uh, we found it, so. <laughs> it climbs down so fast funny Whew. all right come on let's pick up the space here let's get to the uh the car what do we have we kept the area pristine for you boys let's check it out and we got everything so we're good you're behind the wheel antonio's red residence where are we headed take us there it was Mrs. Maldonado, right? That's affirmative. All right, so then there's a husband we should be looking for. Get him, we've closed the case. Ah, uh, Rusty's razor, of course. I don't want to question your tried and tested techniques, Detective Galloway. But doesn't the DA require sound casework before he'll close the book? Right, he's got a confession. And, you know, there's ways of getting it. I'm sure. Blue Room Jazz Club. Konya's residence, 1.14 p.m. No pets allowed. <gasps> Beds, 15 cents. Rooms, 35 cents. Insane. And how much has it gone up Wait, in the last... 
what this is like the 40s late 40s so 70 years i'm sorry can i help you lapd ma'am detective phelps and galloway does mrs maldonado live here yes she does i'm mrs barbara lapente the owner of this boarding house is there a problem i'm afraid so ma'am do you mind if we come in is there somewhere we can discuss this of course follow me through to the parlor Wipe your feet as you come in, detectives. It's this way. Mrs. Maldonado was found dead this morning. Dead? Oh, no. She can't be. I'm afraid she was murdered, ma'am. We need to take a look at her things. I can't believe it. A person seems so alive, and then they're gone. Antonia's room is upstairs. Last door on the left. Thank you. We'll be back shortly. Uh, excuse us a moment, ma'am. Whoa. Did you look at that? Some smashed window explains why the place looks tossed. And you know, nobody noticed this. Helps. Okay, we have an address. on this. Oh. The charm bracelet wasn't among the crime scene evidence. Hmm. The landlady looks like she means business. We'll be wanting her statement. Let's go talk to her. There she is. We have some questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, detective. I'll do my best. Possible Do you have any suspects. idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Maldonado? That rat of her husband, Angel. She was serving him divorce papers. If I killed every wife to serve me papers, I'd be a mass murderer. Are you being flippant, young man? No, ma'am. <laughs> Truth. What can you tell us about Angel Maldonado? She married him when she was 17. He was cruel to her, very cruel. She was a good girl. A little on the religious side, but a good girl. <laughs> what time victim. did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around nine. Do you know where she went? No. I, I have no idea. She was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. Ow. A nosy old hag like you knows everything about the people who live under her roof. Where did she go? I think she went to a bar. She's been drinking quite a lot lately. This bar have a name? El Dorado huh? Bar. It's a Latino place what? on North Los Angeles Street. That's only a couple of blocks from where we found the body. Oh, uh, what? Evidence of break-in. Not a break-in? No. That can't be true. What? When? You're being economical with the truth, Mrs. Lepenti. What do you have to hide? Oh. I have no idea what you are car? talking about. Uh, broken window. So Antonia lost her keys and used an iron bar to jimmy the back window? I heard a noise in the early hours of the morning. I thought it might be a raccoon at the milk bottles. <laughs> It'd be very bad for business if this news got out. I have a reputation to protect. A reputation to protect? Break down a marriage. Antonia and her husband were estranged? Yes. She moved here after she separated from her husband two months ago. 
But Antonia still wore a wedding ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. That's about all of her jewelry. What about the uh, charm bracelet? What about her bracelet? I don't know anything about a bracelet. You mean this uh, charm bracelet in the photograph? In her wedding photo, she's displaying a charm bracelet. That thing? Oh, she never wore it. He gave it to her. She always kept it in that wooden jewelry box. Thanks, ma'am. You've been very helpful. Pay nice. a call to that husband of hers. Lock him up and throw away the key. <laughs> okay. We can either front Angel, seeing as the finger's pointing right at him, or we could check out the El Dorado bar. Can you drive to this one? Uh, Where exactly are we going? <laughs> Let's do the bar. A nosy old hag? Ah! And I thought I was coming on strong with the ex wife line. Sometimes you have to be firm to get the information you need. God damn it, ain't that the truth? El Dorado Bar, 1.22 p.m. What can I get you? LAPD. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar, how can I help? You worked the bar last night? Yeah, me and a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night, 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily? We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. Oh, what did she do? She was murdered last night. Oh, shit. <laughs> do you know her well? Was she oh, regular? Oh, shit. Hell no. She was good and tight last night, complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. I'll show you. Sam has taken me to Palm Springs for the weekend. A waitress. Can I have a little food? Mm -hmm. Divorce, papers. Divorce papers. Did you open them? No need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was going to show him. 47. The grounds of cruelty brought by Antonia. Plaintiff Antonia, your wife. Uh huh. Where is that goddamn waitress? Missing jewelry. Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. The temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. Doubt. Where did she go? Give me something or the LAPD will start getting interested in this place. Take it easy. She went to the cab, okay? Take it easy. And my phone was out of order. The closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested she try there. She seemed reluctant. Movement Did Antonia victim? say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. True. She attract any interest? An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off, though. Thanks. You've been a big help. No problem. No hey, problem. Get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have wide feet. Hmm. Say, honey, what time did you get off for the table? Sir, do you work here? 
Sorry, pal, just making deliveries. From where? Just pick fruit market across the street. A fruit market delivers here? Yeah, sure does. The Mexes love a little slice with their tequila. Fine, thanks. Where's the fruit mart? A waitress. I have a little food. You want it? It's nice. Hey. Just pick fruit mart. Okay. Let's have it head over there. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? Where is that goddamn place? It could be a deficiency of iron. Think there's anything to the divorce angle? I've been through three times. No big deal. <laughs> Wild. <laughs> but Angel, he's a young Latino man would hurt his sense of who he is. He'd see himself as a failure, a woman taking control over his life. Then she fronts him and he snaps. Works for me. That makes Angela killer as well as a piece of shit. <laughs> he got out the car before the car even stopped moving. <laughs> Shut. Great. We'll need to come back later, Phelps. Maybe somebody here saw Antonia the night she died. Closed. That means you know the way. You the guy watch. earlier. So where exactly are we going? Was delivering while it was closed. How about we drop in on the husband instead? See if your gut is right. I'll take a bar over a husband every day of the week. That's disgusting. Didn't you ever hear of germs? Altonado is in apartment 304. 304. Uh, no, that's two. All right, third floor. Phelps, this could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Let's take our boy by surprise. Hey, what the fuck? LAPD, motherfucker, you're under arrest. Ooh. I got a hundred pounds. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. Get him, get him, get him. Finish it. There you go. Nice. Damn. We got some decent shots in there. Cop these sons of bitches, Phelps. LAPD, you two are under arrest. Call for some backup, Finbar. Galloway, badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the apartment building 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. Your wife has been murdered, Angel. Antonia? Oh, God, no! Where were you last night, Angel? 
I was here with my brother the whole night, goddammit! You think I killed my own wife? You should get the whole place of going over, then talk to the neighbors. <laughs> ah, there's the hat back. Good. And Phelps, I don't care that you can't go smack in the head. You don't call me Bingo. It's funny you didn't like that. Incidental. There's nothing here. Ah, oh, bloody shirt. This will take some explaining. Maybe one of the just picked fruit market. What do you want? LAPD. We're making some inquiries. Make it quick. I worked nights. So you weren't home last night? No. I would not I wake, work. wake up for you that. Nothing about Mrs. Maldonado <laughs> Or answer my husband. door. Those two? They're always screaming the place down. Thanks. Okay. No good. There's nobody here. Sorry about that. I'm playing with my kids. <clears throat> LAPD, were you here last night? Yeah. My uh, wife and I are separated, and uh, I had the kids last night. I put them to bed early and went to bed myself. Thanks. Actually kind of scared me for a second there. Hello. LAPD, ma'am. Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. Yes, I did. Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here and her husband ran out after her. You saw this, Miss? Aranda. I had the door open a crack. Did you see Mr. Maldonado come back inside after he ran out? No. I didn't. Thanks. We'll be in touch. I kept thinking you were going to call that one a nosy old hag, too, Phelps. Well executed restraint. I'm executing restraint right now, Finbar. <laughs> Is that all you needed, detective? Let's call this in. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? How can I help, Messages detective? Messages for me, please. Thanks for your help. Oh boy.
back to the station then it seems and out this way you drive i need to go over the case notes fine where are we headed Central Station. Is he coming? Captain is waiting for you downstairs with Pinker. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to put him down here. Yeah, okay. Isn't that the cop who solved the big case and got promoted? Yep. It is, it is. Bless you. Bless Boys, up. Boys, come on in. Phelps, have you met Finnis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. This information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and typed from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand-typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. That's the message from the Celine Henry case. On thy soul by virtue of this curse. That's why we called you in. Do you think it's original? Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley? Sure, I knew that. <laughs> you see, Finnis? I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what has it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We had the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. All right. Need a drink. I got the jitters again. In sync. <laughs> well, you don't see that every day. All right, what room is he? Ah, oh, there he is. Improved your attitude, Angel? What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died. But she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. Let's contact the So your victim. wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe? She didn't stay long. You're lying, Angel. You went after her. I think you killed her. You're out of your mind. My brother will tell you I was at home. Husband's alibi. Yep. We have a witness who confirms that you are arguing, that your wife ran out, that you followed her, and didn't come back. I know this looks bad, but it's not true. We argued, all right? 
but she went out and I went out after her and she jumped in a car on the corner. There was a car waiting for her? Can you describe the driver? Not the driver. It was too dark. But the car, it was a brown Ford Coupe. You and Divorce your wife were along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. What about the you, divorce she papers? A decree nice side. She pushed you too far and you lashed out. I told you. I wouldn't accept a divorce. The judge had set a date. You were going to be paraded in front of the whole city for your cruelty to her, Angel. Antonia. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she came in drunk, out of her mind. She doesn't normally drink. She was looking around in her bag. Said she wanted to serve me papers. Me, her own husband. So I slapped her down. She ran out. That's the truth. What size shoe do you wear, Angel? Size 8. What difference does that make? When we found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. What about the charm bracelet? Was she wearing that? You know about that? She never wore it. She didn't like the message. She kept it locked up in that box of hers. Hmm. That's why. Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. <laughs> Angel, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Give me something or I'm going to have you charged. My brother, Hippolyta, he said some bad things about Antonia last night. So I had a sock him one. We got into it. Keep talking. She said she came from the El Dorado bar. And? It's not one of my places. We used to buy fruit at the market down the street. But the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. What's the name of this fruit market? Just picked fruit. Ord Street downtown. One last question, Angel. Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. One of these days. Nice. All right, so back to that uh, other place. You're behind the wheel. And where exactly are we going? Just picked fruit and produce. What if it's, what if it's that guy that we ran into? <laughs> the guy that was the lip dropping off stuff. Another letter? I thought the letter was from a nut. Dropping off. These letters, Brown and Hanson believe they are genuine. From him. And now we sent another. You know, I really hate this fuck. You call him this Black Dahlia guy. You seen the body? Fucking cased his nozzle away from the guts. Every prom from every fucking <laughs> hick town in America turns up here. Where do they end up? Got it. He ran right into him. Hey, at least it's not our car. That's his. <laughs> Just picked fruit market 4.37 p.m. Ah, oh, they're open now. Look at that. It could be the guy. That could be him right there. Are you working Friday night? We should go out afterwards. Sir, I'm the... Wait. You look familiar. Hey, from the bar, right? What brings you here? LAPD. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney. What can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night? 21 years old, Hispanic? Sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? Distinctive she necklace. She was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey, you're getting the wrong idea. 
Exactly how much fruit do you sell here after midnight, Clem? Uh, look, not much. I sell the odd bottle on the side to the after-hours crowd. Look, I don't want any trouble. I'm just trying to make a buck. Contact the with young victim. lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Used the phone for a cab and then left. You already knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? Sure, I met her before. Now she seemed like a nice lady. Her husband went apeshit one day when he caught me talking to her. Huh. She hadn't been back until last night. Where did Movements she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. Can you describe the car? Brown Ford Coupe, I think. She seemed to know the guy. Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. <laughs> Slam. No wonder he stays open late at night. <laughs> People have to get their vitamins. Check through this stuff before we get back out there. Oh, there's a knife. I cut someone who was already dead. It's a typical power thing. Once the sniff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. Must have seen it during the war. So what are we hiding in here? This thing needs a combination. I never would have got this without this. To five, three. Oh, luckily, there's only three options. Any, anyways. <laughs> Submit to your husband as the lawyer. This fruit stall punk gets about 10 seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. Clem! The chase begins. God damn it, get after him, Cole! I'll try to shoot out his tire. Wish me luck. Hit it. Clean this asshole off the road. We should have grabbed him when we had the chance, though. No? When we had the chance, we didn't know he was our guy. Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. Strange that he keep a trail of blood right back to his own market. Maybe he wanted to be caught. A lot of them do. Almost too perfect. There's no such thing as too perfect. Get him. Hit him, Cole. Spit him out. Keep it steady, and I'll try to bust his tires. Got him. Ladies and gentlemen, there it is. You're a 
sick man, Clem. You need help. It's where my... Love it. Outstanding job in on the this same, case, gentlemen. Uh, the poor woman can now rest in peace. I'll pay the fiend a personal visit myself and remind them that crime in this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor, lads. I'll be sure to mention your names. Now, on your way. On your way. <laughs> He's taking one for himself. Third degree. There it is. Hey. Oof. City damage, though. Make sure we eat. Don't uh, dilly dally too long. Sarge, why are the guys giving it to the doggies? They're riding in trucks, numbskull, while you're marching. They look pretty badly beat up. Yeah, they do it then. Scuttlebutt says it's pretty hard going down south. Yeah, we'll find out soon enough. Recon always leads. How can we fail, Skip, with the shadow leading the show? Who the fuck is a shadow? Lieutenant Phelps, the shadow of death. What the fuck are you talking about? He's a quiet fucker, Sarge. You never hear the bastard coming. You're sitting there, field stripping a cigarette, and suddenly he's there looking down on you. Why do you think we keep saluting that jab loving son of a bitch? He's bad juju. That's enough out of you three. Bad juju? Where were you dragged up? A swamp? White shoe slain. All right, hold on one second. I'll be right back. <laughs> 